All right, welcome to our Tuesday night Zoom class. We are so excited to have so many of you with us tonight to learn more about some great gift giving ideas that you can give this holiday Christmas season. And what I love so much about the essential oils and the things that we're going to be talking about tonight is there is something so special about being able to give a homemade gift, something that is special to you and something that is also good for the pocketbook, right? It's going to be um, great for our budget because they're very cost effective. And the projects that we're going to talk about too as well, these are products, these are things that you can make that are wonderful for self-care. And I don't know about you guys, but when I think about the holidays and Christmas, it can feel really stressful and really overwhelming. And so to be able to give somebody the gift of self-care that is homemade and you know fairly in in inexpensive, these are gonna be some great gift ideas that you can easily implement and get started in the next couple of days to be able to share with your friends. And um, just kind of as an introduction to some of the products that we're going to be talking about, um, a question that we often get is, where do I get the spray bottles and the roller bottles and all of those different things? So I'm going to share with you a couple of different websites. Um, and I also want to mention that when we post this video, underneath that video, we're going to make comments. And we're going to give you all the links to the different online stores that we're talking about, as well as the recipes and pictures and ideas. So it's going to be an amazing post that's going to give you eight different make and take projects and where to get everything for them, as well as additional information that we think will be valuable to you as you're making these. Um, so one of the first couple of websites that I love to share are aromatools.com. And this is probably the cheapest, best place to get your roller bottles, spray bottles, um, that kind of stuff. The other one is oillife.com, very similar, and also shareoils.com. And again, I'm going to post these in the comments, but those th are three that I go to a lot. And when it comes to like the little mason jars and the pint-sized jars, those are easily able to get at your grocery stores. Um, Walmart, I've seen the jars. So you can get those there. And then also locally, if you have like a Nature's Grocers or a Whole Foods, they also will have roller bottles and some different things as well in their health food section. They're going to be a little bit more expensive, but they are there. So check out even your local area if maybe you don't have time to have something shipped because there are places in your area where you can get some of those products. And I am really excited tonight to be able to introduce three ladies who are going to share these different products. And one of the things that I love the most about um, these ladies is their ability to come up with these make and take projects and show how simply they can be made and how personal they can be and how cost effective. And they are um, amazing at what they do and I'm excited to learn with you these wonderful make and take projects. So I'm first going to introduce Katie and Katie is going to share some things that she has been doing as gifts and she is um, she is so creative. They always say that when you do this, you want to find people who can do the things that you're not as good at. And I must say that Katie fills that creative piece that I know that I'm missing. So I'm grateful to have Katie to be able to show and share um, her amazing creativity with us. So it's all yours. All right. Thank you so much. So this is like my favorite thing. I love this. I love being able to um, make things in the kitchen with safe ingredients using the best essential oils to make it a therapeutic product and to be able to make it right here at home to give um, whether i'm using it or whether i'm giving it it's just my favorite thing so earlier this week i took this picture that had maybe you saw it with three different products with bath salts a spray bottle and um, a sugar scrub and i have them right here um, so these three are kind of the basics or, you know, kind of the, the crux of this and they make a really great, each one would be a cool gift, but all together, it's just almost like a little basket of things. So, um, I was just going to show you how quickly the, um, these things come together. Um, so let's see for the spray bottle like tiffany said these just come from aroma tools um typically when i make these in a class i have people put the oils in first but because i'm not in my kitchen and just to show you how darned easy this is 
Um, I have a bottle of Serenity, which is really great for restful sleep. So I'm gonna make a linen spray and um, just spray my pillows, spray my sheets. Um, and this is a two ounce bottle and I'm gonna put like 15 to 20 drops in here. You don't even have to do that many. Um, and then just shake it up and it's good to go. So the oil will, the essential oil will tend to kind of sit on the top, but just shaking it up each time. And this would work. Serenity is great on you as well. So this blend would be good. This sprayer would be good as a body spray or a linen spray. Super, super easy. And then kind of the same thing with this, um, the Epsom salts. These I purchased, um, or my friend purchased these at Costco, big box, two different bag, two bags. It was like $8 for a big heavy box. So this is crazy affordable. Um, and this amount is a cup and I would just dump this whole thing in my bath. So what I'm gonna do for this one is just I'm adding lavender for um, just relaxation and also marjoram. These two are in Serenity and I'm actually gonna just at the same time drip these in the top. You need about, I don't know, same 10 to 20 drops in here and just put them on the top and shake it up. And then that's gonna go directly in, in my bath. Um, the salt will help you, will, be a gentle detox too um, and help your muscles recover from exercise or soreness. So the sugar scrub, I kind of did it two different ways. All right, this one, I wanted to just show you that you can make this sugar scrub with what's in your kitchen. Um, it's not quite as pretty as the other one, but it's maybe just as effective. So brown sugar and olive oil. Um, and then I put, maybe 10 to 15 drops of holiday joy which is um, a great holiday aroma smells good also purifies the air and boosts your immune system so anyway this one's got holiday joy in it and plus brown sugar and olive oil super simple this one and the quantities i didn't even measure i just like scooped it up and poured it in here mixed it in here i wanted this to be as simple as you know like we could make this in kindergarten um this one is a little bit fancier and we call this the spa worthy sugar scrub i don't know if you can see but it's got flecks of tea um it also i ground up some oatmeal so this has just plain white sugar oatmeal tea um what else is in here um, I used a fancy oil. I used calendula oil, which I buy in bulk at the co-op. A really lovely, nourishing oil for your skin. But so is olive oil, you know, and it's just in everybody's kitchen. So this one's fancy. We'll, we'll post the recipe. Um, I made a bunch of this and then um, just took a shower and tried it. I loved it. The fragrance or the, um, the essential oil I put in here um, is cardamom and ginger. So both of these are just pure botanical extracts. So guess what? I can eat this, all right? It's, I, that is kind of my criteria for, for beauty products. I want to know that it's so pure that I could eat it. And guess what? This is actually del <laughs> It's delicious. It tastes like chai. So ginger and cardamom in here. And uh, okay, so that's the set of three. The other thing that I make and love to give is this. This is nail oil. Um, it has, let's see, it's got these essential oils, these five, myrrh, frankincense, lemon, vetiver, and lavender. So um, in here go the essential oils. Then I top it off with fancy oils, calendula, avocado, jojoba, neem. Um, I did a lot of research and have used nail oils, so I kind of, I know what's really good for the skin and cuticles. Um, anyway, so I buy the roller bottles at Aroma Tools. I have a fancy little gadget to help me pop the roller ball on. Um, and when I give this, or when we make this as a class, I also go to Sally Beauty and I buy these $2 nail buffers. 
so people can because this was part of part of what I wanted to do was stop wearing toxic nail polish but I still want my nails to look like I take care of them they tend to split and this is a really nourishing oil so buffing it first with this side then with this and following up with nail oil and it looks like I'm wearing clear nail polish uh, but it's so so good for my nails um, and a side note is this is super good for all kinds of skin. So if you if you run out of under eye cream, you can use this. Or if you get a sunburn or a cut, this is good for everything skin related. Super gentle. All right. And I'm going to post those recipes under this video um, so that you can you can refer to it. And we'll be watching and answering questions. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. That is so great. I love it. I love how simple they are. And it's a lot of the stuff we already have in our homes. And so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so next we have Denise and Denise is going to share a couple of projects that she likes to make and share. And it is her birthday today. So happy birthday to Denise. She is amazing. And I, when I think of gift giving, and I think of Denise, she is so good with people and she's so kind and I love watching the way she nurtures the friendships that she has around her. So she is amazing and I'm excited to learn from her tonight. All right, Denise, you're up. Hello everybody, thank you, Tiffany. Um, I thought first I initially would uh, go off a little bit from what um, uh, Katie had done. And this is also um, one of those sugar scrubs that Katie was talking about, but this one is, uh, one that we made in class. And then I also have another one that I had made with uh, not the oatmeal, but then you can also use the kosher salt. Um, what, I, what I like to use in this, I gave this a lot as gifts this year. I like to use the Holiday Joy oil with it or lavender. And what I do with it, when I, um, what I've been telling people is I, I leave it right at the sink so they can use it right at the sink after they're washing the dishes and it really helps to nourish your hands and rejuvenate that skin on your hands. Um, and I had one comment from a gal that I'd given it to earlier around Thanksgiving time. And she had stated that it was one of the best sugar scrubs she's ever used. So I thought that was, so it's pretty neat. And then the next one that I wanna share with you is the, the use of um, a natural hand sanitizer. So this is uh, also one that we had made in class. And uh, I get, have given this away to a couple of different people and it's just nice one for you to make and have with you for your kiddos when they are in your purse, when they come home from school. Uh, this hasn't, so this is just a little container. I think it's probably like maybe one and a half ounces to two ounces, I'm not sure. One, okay, Linda's saying one. <laughs> Cause I couldn't remember when I bought them, but I know we, I also ordered these from Aroma Tools. So you can get these little plastic bottles from Aroma Tools. And then in this bottle is an aloe vera gel. And I've gotten this at Natural Grocers. This is a big bottle of it, but I use this one. This is one of the ones that I like the best for it. And then there's also vitamin E oil that just helps nourish your skin. And then there's, I believe, I think I put probably about five drops, five to 10 drops of on guard. And then I've also used one where I add the wild orange to it. So it just adds a little extra smell the wild orange. So that's a nice gift to give or even just to have around during the time you use it. Then there's one that I've always made initially, and Katie's also done this too. This is actually just a two ounce bottle you can get from Aroma Tools. I also like to make them in the smaller bottle so you can put it in your purse easier. But this is also the On Guard, all it is the On Guard oil and water. You can either, I just use tap water, but you can use, um, uh, what am I thinking, distilled water. And um, so it's nice just to you open it up and just spray your hands with it and rub your hands. It's just a natural hand sanitizer. You can smell the On Guard oil. And then also, like I like, to, <laughs> I like to use like Katie did. You can also spray it in your mouth. You're getting that little bit of sore throat. Okay, and I think, I think that's basically it. So I'll also post the recipes. Awesome. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate that. I love the on guard spray and the hand sanitizer because I'll tell you, when you look at 
the hand sanitizers that are available now and all the chemicals that are in them to be able to give somebody a clean natural hand sanitizer is awesome especially with on guard it's kind of fun tonight my husband came home from school and he teaches anatomy physiology over at cwi and he had a gal who's a teacher in another class um, share with him how one of her students did a study on um, the effectiveness of different cleaners and this student tested bleach on guard a green cleaner and something else and she said that the best one was the on guard cleaner and i thought how cool is that that this on guard we can use it as a hand sanitizer we can use it as a natural spray cleaner um, and then we can also use it for sore throats or if we don't feel very good so it is very versatile so thank you so much denise okay next up we have um, Linda and I'm excited for her to share what she is doing and she too is a master make and take lady and I learned from her and I love her creativity and what she does as well so I'm gonna turn the time over to her to share a couple more projects that you can do thanks Tiffany so um, thank you for pin well to Pinterest for a lot of these ideas as well so um, today the one you know, we have make and take Monday at my house um, here in Idaho um, usually on Mondays um, and so we've had a, a lot of different projects that we've done. This one is so simple, and actually my daughter will be doing these for her girlfriends um, this week. And I, can you guys see this okay? So it's tiny little, this is a three milliliter lip gloss container. And um, so it's just a natural lip gloss. Uh, and what's in it is unpetroleum jelly. Okay, so and this I actually buy at a natural food store here in town. Um, it's act, and, and you might ask, what is unpetroleum? <laughs> and it is actually mostly castor oil. Uh, it's got some beeswax and uh, coconut oil in it. So I use just a little bit of that. Um, and then this here is um, the oh it's called well this is called luster dust but it's like wilton uses it um for cake decorating so um i have a um, just a white shiny one and then this one is pink and you just add it to your container so if you just have a small bowl and put a little bit of your your unpetroleum jelly um you put your pink or whatever color you want uh, in there, mix it up. I use either a spoon or uh, I found some of these at the craft store. Uh, they're just little ice cream scoopers and they're great not only for this, if you're going to do a class and you want to be able to dispose of things, but um, they're also great with the sugar scrubs to kind of add it and you can tie it onto the top. But um, just mix that all up. And then what I love best about this is adding spearmint oil to that um, lip gloss and it is the best um, my daughter loves it and it's so easy you know i mean she's just gonna whip up a bunch of them for her girlfriends and give them as gifts so love that um, and then th those containers come in a package like this um, and they are i can't remember exactly the price they are so cheap <laughs> it's so cheap so that's that one and then the other um I love, well, I know Katie talked about roller bottles. I love using those for gifts this time of year. Um, last year for my department, I did balance um, in these tiny rollers, and then you just put in about this much balance, fill it up with coconut oil, I put the little balance sticker on, and I tied a little thing around it, said we all could use a little more <laughs> and then just made up a bunch of them, had them in a little container, and I could give them out. This year I'm doing cheer because we could all use a little more of that too. So, and I know cheer comes in a roller now uh, through doTERRA, but this is just nice, a nice little gift when you just need something to, you know, it's not too expensive and it's awesome. So, those are my two um, ideas. So, Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. I love the little lip glosses. I'm already like my wheels are turning for my 11-year-old um, daughter and 6-year-old daughter thinking, oh, what a fun thing to mm -hmm. give your friends. And you know those little girls will just love it. And I'm thinking I would love it too. So. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so something to share is 
all of these recipes are so versatile in the essential oils that you can use, you know, so depending on your friend and maybe what is going on in their life, you can personalize those essential oils. Um, so anyways, and if anybody wants to jump on here, Katie, Denise, or Linda, maybe some other oils that you use in these different products. I was thinking, you know, the bath salts, one of my favorite combinations is like the aroma touch and lavender. Um, that's a yummy combination that people can use. Um, anyways, there's a lot of different things you can do. And I love how with the um, roller bottles that Linda talked about, again, you can personalize that for people. And, uh, I think Katie had one the other day that I really loved. That was the wild orange and peppermint. That's another great combination. That's great to share with people. Um, so we have all this information and we've got these great make and takes that we want to make. And so kind of now what? And so something that we have done that's been really effective has been to get a group of people together. Like Linda talked about having a make and take Monday or, you know, getting a group of girls together on a Friday or Saturday night and just make a whole bunch of different gift ideas and make and take projects. So if this is something that you would like to do, please talk to the person who invited you tonight about getting a group together because it's always funner, right, as girls and as women to get together as a group and make all of these projects. Um, or if you want to host a class as well and get a bunch of friends together. So know that there's some options because we can help you be able to pull off an amazing bake, make and take evening with your friends. Um, does anybody have, we'll open it up now, does anybody have any questions about the projects or anything that we talked about tonight? Or anything they want to add? Well, just about versatility. Um, I think that's really why I love doTERRA. Um, because we're dealing with a lot of just single ingredient plant, pure plant botanicals. And um, I mean, we touched on it a little bit that, that a lot of them can be taken internally. Um, and on guard, we talked about that for the hand sanitizer. Um, and I keep one of those like Denise has, I keep that in my car and I spray my son when he gets in after school. We keep a little towel in the car too. Um, but that oil on guard, is this is what I use. I mean, I don't just use the spray. I will put this either in my tea or just put it, like hold it and get a drop on the back of my throat if I start to feel like I'm coming down with something. Um, and I, this has worked so well for me. I have, I've not been sick in over two years and I've felt it a couple times, come on. But anyway, super versatile. It smells great. Last year, my son's teacher let me put a diffuser in his classroom. And probably over the course of the year, we went through like five bottles of On Guard. So it, it was, you know, a commitment for me, but it meant that his classroom smelled, smelled great. This, this is a, a blend of wild orange, um, cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, and um, it really supports your immune system, purifies the air. So we had this in his classroom running. Um, the teacher noticed, the teacher wanted some because he noticed that he was getting sick less frequently and the kids were getting sick less frequently. So super versatile. And this spray can end up being hand sanitizer, room spray, body spray. This also could work with even just simple peppermint essential oil as a bug repellent or a mice repellent. Um, and it is just, you could turn this into anything. Um, so we keep, we keep a lot of these bottles on hand because they're just so darn versatile. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna also post, there's a blog post that doTERRA did that also has some additional gift ideas. And you can see some of them in the photo for the Zoom class, but I think there's such great ideas. You know, being able to give like a hot cocoa mug with some hot chocolate and then giving them a small five mil bottle of like peppermint or cinnamon or something like that. Or um, lemon is awesome for your dry erase blackboards. And so giving your teachers some dry erase markers with a lemon and maybe a fun cloth or something, that's something else you could do. You know, and for your athletes, people who are really athletic, get them a tube of deep blue or give them some of the deep blue samples and some different things to try as well. So anyways, there's a lot of things that we can do in our gift giving. And I'd also like to point you to the holiday gift giving guide that doTERRA has. They still have some really great 
holiday products that are available as another thing that you can do as well for other people. Um, any other last comments or questions before we stop and post this? I have a quick question, Katie. Yes. Um, I'm a friend of Katie's from Ohio. Um, is all of this considered hypoallergenic then? I'm going to let Tiffany answer. Hypoallergenic. Um, you know, the essential oils, the way I understand them is that they will work with the body and they're going to support the body. Um, some people are sensitive to some of the essential oils. And so if you feel like you might be sensitive to something, what I would do is do kind of a patch test. You know, so put, try a little bit of lavender on your skin or try um, whatever you like. You just right. see how it is. I have not seen a lot of sensitivities to the essential oils. It's all pure, right? Is that what it's you're like, wondering? It's like the pure oh, yes. ingredient. So if very, it's lavender, very pure. it's just um, lavender. Yeah. Madhavi, yes. we'll also post, there's a really great... Um, website that doTERRA has called source to you. And that's really just what it is. You can see where these oils are sourced around the globe and they find where on the planet they grow the best. So, um, and it changes from time to time. So the lavender now is being sourced from Bulgaria and, um, it's grown there and distilled there and tested to be pure, free of any kind of um, pesticides or herbicides. Um, and tested to be free of any kind of adulteration. So these oils are just the finest essential oils on the planet. I will say with lavender, it's funny because lavender is the one oil that people really will say, this is, of all the oils, this is one that you can use neat on your skin. I happen to be like one in a hundred and I tend to be kind of sensitive to lavender. So if I use it um, on a burn, if I just put it straight on, I will end up with a little bit of an itchy rash. So what I do, let me grab this, is I use my fractionated coconut oil and I just mix it. So, and I did a little bit of research to find out like, am I allergic to lavender? Because this is something that people use for allergies. This is like an, it's like a antihistamine is how it works. But what I learned is that, um, what I'm sensitive to is when it oxidizes on my skin. So by using um, you know, a fatty oil, I slow down or stop the oxidation. So lavender, I know I'm not allergic because I can take this internally. And I do during um, allergy season, I take um, a blend called Tri-Ease. Did I mail that, some of that? I you? think so. I'm, I'm yeah. curious for my um, kiddos with eczema, um, okay. that hand sanitizer, the Alternate and the bee options. butter, the bee yeah. butter yes, is, a, is really great for eczema. Right. So mixing some oils that are really good at supporting the skin, like the ones in my nail oil, pretty much all of these, I might leave lemon out because it can cause some sun sensitivity, but myrrh is one that's really great for supporting the skin, the integumentary system. Um, and frankincense as well is really, really great. Um, for awesome. that. So those That's... with lavender mixed in a little bit of the bee butter, I choose to leave that, you know, on scented, if you will, I, we just mm. scoop it out and mix a little bit in our hands. So Perfect. I would say hypoallergenic. Yes, because you know, there's as long as they're not sensitive to the individual ingredient. That's fine. Right. As long as it's, it's pure, then I'm pure, pure that. plants. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great question. It's a great question. And I think that's what separates doTERRA from anybody else is that purity. Yeah, Linda. Well, I want to just add to that. You know, just because something's pure doesn't mean you won't have a sensitivity to it because like um, oregano, for example, you know, it's hot. You have to use common sense. Right. You know, absolutely. You're using your oils. <laughs> yeah. And so like, oregano is very, very hot. And so you would want to definitely dilute that, if, especially if you were using it, say, in a really sensitive part on your skin, sure. whereas, you know, like the bottom of your feet are is less sensitive. So it just depends on where you're applying that. Right. Uh, no, I hope that I have common sense, but thank well. you. <laughs> That's great. All right. Any other questions? 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push stop.